The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. It's an anniversary day for the old cowboy folks. Let's go back to the Rodeo Drive before it was Rodeo Drive there in Beverly Hills. Uh, this was when I was working with Eli Lilly. It was July 28, 1974. I was in the promenade there that turned out to be Rodeo Drive about eight or nine years later. And I was leaning up against my new car. And I had my fancy Rolex on, the Rolex President. Gee, I thought that was a hot deal. And uh, I had uh, seven figures in my account, and I had just about everything a man could ask for. Two beautiful kids, a lovely family. Uh, the home was paid for. I mean, it was just, just life was really good. And, folks, I swear to God, I'm leaning up against that car, and I was crying. Here I was. I was 34 years old. And I had everything that I'd ever wanted, and I really didn't have anybody to share it with because I, I didn't get along with my father at all. My mother had died three years earlier, and I was just thinking about her. Well, folks, let me tell you what happened. In October the 14th of that very same year, I owed Conti Commodities $2,800. I found a way to just about get rid of all of it. It went to a minus 2800 Back in those days, there was no CFTC or no NFA, anything like that. So it was all done by the clearing members, and I had done a lot of business with them from 66 through 74. So they said, hey, when you want to trade without money, no problem. And I said, no, I'm going to learn how to trade first and then go back. And I got the Gartley book that I'd had for four years sitting on my desk, uh, loose leaf papers, of course, and I never looked at it at all. And then I finally started uh, delving into it, and I, I didn't trade for just about a year. And then I, I've told you the story about the soybeans and all that stuff. But, folks, uh, I, I remember that so vividly. And the thing I remember most is I was in Santa Barbara at the time on a, at a Lilly meeting on that Friday. And uh, it was, well, the Friday in October. And it, it was everything was limit down. And I got out limit down and the stuff that I'd held like an idiot for two and a half weeks, three weeks, four weeks, six weeks. I don't remember what it was. And I wasn't even I wasn't sad. I wasn't concerned. I was just shaking my head. How could I be so stupid? And the first thing I did was call my my person that got me started, uh, Dr. Jimmy there. And uh, oh, boy, this is a really good thing. Beeping off here, folks. Hold on one second. I just want to make sure that's the one I want to see. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Hold on one second here, folks. Sold a little bit of that 786 up there at the S&P at uh, 4516. Anyway, and, he, and I t went back to Terre Haute uh, right after that to visit him, and uh, he laughed at me when I told him what happened. He said, you think you're the only person that ever do this? And he gave me this book, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. I'd had it, but I'd never really read it. I knew more than anybody else. I knew what to do. Well, pride goeth before the fall, folks, because I got into that book, and I got into the Gartley book, and I studied for nine, ten months, and that's all I did. I worked for Lilly, studied. I'd go into the commodity markets uh, there at Conti uh, about every day. For you know, I'd bring in bagels and stuff just to say hello, see what the prices were doing. Never even wanted to trade. All I wanted to do was learn. Fortunately, I had John Hill to help me and Dave Nelson, Jim Sibbett, Earl Hattity, a whole bunch of guys, Oscar McClure, those four guys. Jay Cross took me under their wing and, you know, really, you know, showed me where I was supposed to be. And Joe DiNapoli was there, you know, during that time. He was trading. Uh, my God, there were so many guys that uh, that you've heard of uh, that were there. But Joe happened to be a, a very, very good friend. And then I finally got out of this. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention, I'm going to be doing a date creating class on August. August the 2nd. And if you think for one minute that these, uh, what do you call these things, these algorithms that these people have aren't important, folks, 
just go take a look. I'm not going to post these up because I want you to do the work yourself. Go look at the 61% retracement on the S&P, the 78% retracement on the S&P, the 61% retracement in the uh, Dow Jones. The NASDAQ is always crazy. It went above the 78% by about 10%. But then it, once it comes back below it, it reinstates you know, where it's probably going to go anyway. But this is this is why you've got to do that. And we're going to be watching it. Look at the, look at the trade we had set up for today, folks. This was a, a, an absolute beautiful, uh, beautiful bottom here. Perfect ABCD. This particular trade happened to be, oh, that's the wrong button, Bozo. Hold on here a second here. We'll get this up here. And we should be okay now with a little bit of luck. Yep, I think so. We'll get this out of the way. Uh, Mike Moore will be our guest at the break. There was the 78% retracement in the thing. This moved up. It came all the way. We dropped $11. Your risk here was $3. It made $11. That was one of the trades that we were doing this morning. Okay, we had some really beauties here. But I wanted to show you a couple of others just to show you. This was a real easy one. Uh, uh, just a minute, folks. I'm having trouble getting these charts lined up, and that's what's difficult. I wanted to show you the one in soybeans because th this is a really big market, and it just follows these numbers and patterns. Just absolutely beautiful, and I want to get this up here and let you see what we're looking at here. There you are. You can see there's a 382 retracement right there. If you looked at it closely, it was a little ABCD in here. Folks, that had 17 cents in it. You risk a nickel, and it made 17 cents. This is what I'm going to be doing on all day on, sec on the 2nd of August uh, from 9 o'clock till 2 o'clock. We're going to be looking at trades like that. There's going to be some really smart people in that room that will be able to help us with the trades, and that will be a lot of fun to watch too because uh, they're very good at this. And that's what makes it fun, and that's what uh, is fun. It'll be the fastest five hours of the month, I can promise you that. We don't take a break other than to grab a little a drink of water, make a uh, nectarition break. But uh, by golly, we'd get a lot of work done. I'm going to go over three PowerPoint presentations and uh, a couple of videos that I think you're going to enjoy. And I've got a, a backlog of files of proving all the stuff that we're going to be doing. In addition to that, you'll be getting things like the flashcards that show the patterns and you know where the risk reward ratios are and the statistics behind it so that's the main thing okay i need to share with you some really important information now i'm going to put a chart up here from the cme uh oh somebody's ringing the bell here i don't know what it is hold on get this up here oh i think we have someone calling in that's what it is hold on i think that's what it is let's check and see Larry from Wyoming is on. Uh-oh, he's going to ask me a question about standard deviations. Go ahead, my friend. Yes, I am, Mr. Larry P. I, uh, I just was curious. Uh, I can't find a good standard deviation, like, calculation site. I was wondering if you could give yours away. <laughs> uh, it's a $500. Send me a check, and I'll give it to you. Larry, send me an email at Larry at Trading Tutor. Okay. Okay, and I'll show you the I'll show you the quick and dirty way to do it. It's uh, John Jameson showed me how to do it, and it, it's pretty good. So, you know, and they, one they more have quick some question. I know you have a wait guess, a minute, uh, wait a minute. You've got two you questions go to today. CME for your option open interest. It didn't look like CME. That is the CME. What I did was I copy. Uh, I uh, what do you call it? I uh, snag snagged it. But that is the CME. What do you do? Go to the market data. Then you click on the gold. Uh, stay with us, Larry, will you, please? Okay, sure. We'll be right back with Larry from Wyoming. Attention traders, Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. 
Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors C -c -c call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Larry from Wyoming. And what's your second question, young man? Okay, my second question, Larry, thanks. <laughs> uh, when you go to the CME, CME, I can't get the same view, which so nicely shows uh, the in red if the volume's decreased, whatever. I didn't know okay. it was CME, honestly. I couldn't tell. Okay, um, well, I, I couldn't you do You go that. to market data, and then okay. what, what happens? Okay, what I'm going to do for you, Larry, is I'm going to make a video for you, and I will send it out to you. Anybody that wants a copy of that video, if okay. you want a copy, just send it to Larry at TradingTutor.com, and I'll show you uh, the ins and out on how to do it. It's really quite simple. You just go to the CME website, you click on Markets, and then you go down to the market that you want, whether it's gold, E-mini, S&P, whatever it happens to be. Then you click on Volume and Open Interest. And voila, there it is. It's right there in front of you. So it's okay. real simple. But I will do a video for you. But I'm not sure what year I'm going to do it. And I'll wait till I get your check. But I will do it. I'm going to do it yeah, today well, for you, mail. partner. You know, it's normally so a check in be the mail. Better. You got it. But make sure okay. you send it to Larry at TradingTutor.com. So I, I just want to say, since I've gotten into your way of trading, I, I think differently. I, I don't even know how to explain it. But, you know, yeah. it's... I just see things differently, so I appreciate that, I guess. Tell me how you did that. I'd like to know. No, I'm just teasing you. I've been very lucky. <laughs> okay. that. I, I had to well, learn the hard way, though, but, but let me tell you, this was not an easy task for me because I went through a whole lot of money before I figured out, you know, how to finally get it right. And still, still then, I make uh, big mistakes, but uh, in the end, well, I hang in there pretty good, so. Okay, Doc, I appreciate you so much. I'll, I'll, you bet, I'll look forward to anything you send. Well, you have to send me an email to tell me what you want, see? And then what I'm going to do is I'm oh, going to make the video for you, noted. and I'll make it available <laughs> to anybody else that wants it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. You bet, pal. Bye-bye. Okay. Now, we'll get back to that chart. You'll see that the December contract uh, has a huge amount, uh, and the um, 
August is dissipating quite a bit. That makes a big difference in the chart because it's a beautiful ABCD buy down there at 1942. The market's already rallied $18 uh, off of the bottom today, which is uh, rather, rather strong because that's uh, one half of a harmonic number on one day, which is a really good, uh, really good idea. So that's it. As far as, uh, you know, the open interest folks, the only time I check it is when we're at record levels like we've been here in the S&P. And believe it or not, with all that stuff that was going on these last few days, these last two days, open interest in the the contracts for the for the futures have been dropping, folks. That's short covering. That means there's no new there's no new dudes coming in here. So that's a that's a big big deal. So you've got to be uh, you've got to be really really careful of what you're looking at here because it's a it's a really bad deal because the darn thing if it uh, you don't get new buyers come in, it's only got one place to go and that's down like today we hit that 786 it's already it's already 16 handles so we're looking at 4600 i just saw the limit mine to go off that, that it tipped off so we'll see what happens the s p was at the exact 786 of yesterday's range the dow jones was at the 50 61 percent retracement the nasdaq it was in the la la land along with uh, lewis carroll's uh, Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if you know that, folks, but that's a mathematical thesis, that book. But interesting what we're watching here. Okay, now I want to take just a minute to tell you with a little bit of luck on Monday, we're going to have Joe DiNapoli on here. He's not going to be talking any politics. It's all going to be market related. He's not going to make anybody mad. And so don't anybody ask him about anything with politics. But he is good with the market, and he's going to be talking to us from Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, we'll hopefully get everything set up. I chatted with him this morning, and we should be able to get it moving, uh, you know, relatively quickly. Now, I want to give you a little heads up here. We've got Mike Moore coming on, but I want to show you the volatility that we've seen today in crude oil itself. Let's just get this up here. You talk about increased volatility. You're going to believe these swings. These big swings that you're seeing here, the ones that are marked, are $1,400, folks. That's equivalent to 30 handles in the S&P or $15 in gold. But look, if you stopped exactly at the ABCD pattern right here, you went up and you stopped at the 78% level right here. And since that time, you've made two swings of $1,000 or more. Folks, this is the kind of volatility that you dream about. So let's hopefully we get, keep this coming because it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a new moon coming up here uh, over the weekend, which is a good thing to do. So let's pay very, very close attention to that because when we come in Sunday, things are going to get pretty rocking and rolling. Stop and think, folks. The market goes down 400 points. It goes up 300 points. And everybody's having a good time. So it's going to be real interesting to see these things unfold as they keep uh, coming down the road. I did uh, over the weekend when I do the uh, charts for the, uh, as you know, the, um, uh, what do you call those charts <laughs> for the, uh, I want to get this one up for NVIDIA to show you. All of these charts that I'm going to be doing here are done to show you what's happening to the, the Magnificent Seven. I'm going to put those into the newsletter to show you the patterns. This is the one that started the AI extravaganza along with Microsoft. You can see we've got up here, we've made a big a three drive pattern right at the 1.618 expansion right up here. And so far it has not closed above that. It might do it today, but we'll have to uh, have to wait and see if that's going to be the case. But that's still a little bit early here in the day to be seeing if this is going to be uh, going to be doing anything at all. But the one that uh, t to me that is really interesting is uh, Meta. I want to get this up here so you folks can uh, take a look at it because uh, it has a really you look at the gap that it had when things were really bad. Folks, this this thing's gone up 150 percent. Can you believe that? Look at that. You had the bottom down. Look at the double ABC or double ABCDs right there at the bottom. The gaps down, stays there, goes up, makes the 382 pullback, and bada bing, bada boom, 150% move, folks. That's that's uh, that's better than you can get in the in the banks at 5% per every decade or whatever they give you now, which isn't very much. So let's remind ourselves of that. Uh, one, let's see what other one thing that we had to worry about today was. Uh, Oh, I can't remember the other thing that I was going to mention. Um, okay, let's just get one other chart here that I wanted to show you. Everybody's talking about it because it's all over the map, and that is Tesla. 
We're having a good rally today, but frankly, folks, I think Tesla has made its high for the year here just a few days ago uh, when we were up there at that almost $300 level, $299. We, that was exact 61% retracement of the high that we made uh, about uh, seven, what, eight, eight or nine weeks ago. So that's why it's a you know really big one to pay very, very close attention to because that number right there was the exact 61% retracement of the whole range. And you can see it's backed off from that. So these numbers, they don't work all the time, but they work some of the time. And that's the key thing that you want to realize that when you have that working for you, you got to know when they don't work. And that's what we're going to be talking about on our show on August the 2nd. It'll be, we've had done four of these and uh, they've always made enough money to, that was the worst we ever did was make about 400 bucks. We had several that made thousands but uh, we can't make any predictions on what we're going to do because God only knows that she does a trade. Let's take a break here. We're going to have Mike Moore of More Analytics coming up. He's in the house. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've got Mike Moore of More Analytics on the line today. Mike, how are you doing? Good, how are you, Larry? 
Pretty good. Listen, uh, what's the story about this $80 level in crude level? It's been up here for three or four days and hasn't punched through. Is there that much resistance up here? Well, we're at a really key uh, exhaustion level. Me, uh, okay. Up here for a second. Yeah, tell us what we start off with that one and do the gasoline and also the heating oil and then go and do the other things that you'd like to look at. So please start out with the uh, with the crude oil, please. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching, whoever's watching. Um, just as a bit of a backup on crude, if you've been watching over the past number of weeks or month, you know that we've been bullish since 65.31. Uh, we've seen $15.29 out of that. Um, and there's some other various uh, projections to the upside as well. And um, most recently, the break, break above 76.52 brought in $4.18 uh, cents of strength. I said, however, we break back below 78.97 plus 0.5 a tick per hour. That'll warrant a decent pressure. And we're holding this exhaustion just above. So we just popped above it a little bit yesterday, but we're still basically holding it. We held it here, held it here, held it again popped a little bit and then we held it exactly again right here. So either this is going to break above that and continue higher uh, to higher exhaustion levels up in the uh, 8417 to 8441 area. Or if we fell back down below this formation, then this should capit capitulate to the downside. That line's going to come in at uh, 7901 and move up slightly. Uh, per hour, but that's going to come in 79.01 as of 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would also note, just to jump jump for a second, that the Brent has also been strong, and it broke above a significant formation right here the other day. And this formation projects it up worth $13.95. So either we're going to start to really see more of that, or if this fails back down below this line as well, then this thing would capitulate to the downside. But really, what's been leading the charge is the heating oil. Uh, that's really been moving moving pretty well to the upside. That crack has really been leading also. Let me just pull that up for a second. I hope it's okay. I'm jumping around here. but no, it's okay. It's uh, the heating oil, the break above 230.05, weren't a decent strength. We've seen 56, uh, 66 of that so far. And again, just as a reminder to anybody watching, if you want to figure out how that, what that looks like in crude dollars, you just go uh, 56, 66 times 0.42. And that'll give you that in crude dollars. So it's roughly 23.79 in crude dollars. And uh, the unleaded gasoline also has seen quite a move up not quite to the extent of the heating wall, but that has also been leading the charge. Wow. And the unleaded gasoline. Mike, so, uh, ask a question. Uh, yeah. Today in, in heating oil, you've had about a $3,000 move. A thousand down, a thousand up, a thousand down, a thousand up. Anything causing that? Is there news out there that's making crude jump around so much? In the heating oil or the crude, you're saying? Crude oil, crude oil, the September contract. It's gone from 70 to 80, 80 to uh, from 79 to 80, 80 to 79, 80 to 79, 50. I mean, it's just, Jim, I'm, you know, it's always jumpy, but this is in, this got a lot of it in there today. Yeah, I think that this is kind of a real power struggle between this exhaustion level and this line right here. You know, if we okay. bust through this thing, I think that's going to open up the upside more. Uh, to higher trade. Okay. Makes sense and to me. There's also a lot of wood up in here, too. I mean, there's a lot of major resistance areas from 80, 80, 99 to 81.75. Okay. Uh, 81.44. Sounds great. Take... Go ahead. Say that no, again. That's, that's, that's all I wanted to ask you. It makes sense to me. So as a big kind of summary, just remember one of the main things is, is that the Brent broke above that major formation. So we we're either going to see a piece or all of that major $13.95 move to the upside. Or if that fails that line solidly, then this whole thing is going to come off for days slash weeks. And just as a quick notation, uh, this is the RBOB, the heat spread, which has really gotten destroyed over the past number of days. Um, we've been bearish 
um, since this day, actually, until we fell back down. So this just goes to show you the importance of understanding what this spread is doing, because that makes a difference of 3,500 in just three days wow. being along the heating oil uh, as opposed to the RBOB. Also, we are just breaking below a major formation in the RBOB heat. Uh, this projects us down with another 1,200 ticks. So that would be the equivalent of, you know, uh, mm -hmm. $5 and whatever cents in, in crude oil. So that'd be another $5,000 per lot. And um, this is another quick jump over here. The heat crack really been strong. Seen a lot of movement in here. And again, we got bullish. We've been bullish from way down in here, but bullish again just on the other day. And that's just a difference of six grand being low in the heat as opposed to the crude over the past three days. That's why it's really critical. Any of your listeners, if you're thinking, oh, I just trade crude, um, in my opinion, that's a massive mistake because you're leaving an enormous amount of money on the table by not understanding whether or not you should be long or short the RBOB of the heat instead of the crude. And these spreads are a pretty good way of dictating which of those you should be in. Are any books on that? Someone's asking the question, are there any books on these spreads on how to trade these RBOB? and uh, heating oil stuff. Is there books on that or not? I am the book. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the answer, um, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, actually, honestly, I mean, in the, um, just a little self-promotion here or whatever. I mean, in the analysis, I analyze each of the markets here, but then down below, I go into in-depth um, analysis every day of the RBOB to heat spread the heat crack and the RBOB crack. And I also have um, documentation on my my website as to how to how to utilize those. But basically you're using those three spreads to three spreads to determine strength or weakness relative to the other ones. Does that make okay. sense? Makes great sense. You betcha. Let, let me just go through that just one last time to answer um, your college question. So if you're heating oil, this is your heating oil crack. It's called a crack because when the crude oil comes into the refinery, it goes through a machine called a cracker. And it cracks out of it either heating oil or RBOB. So in the spread, whatever you're, whatever you're doing to the spread, you're either buying or selling the product and doing the opposite of the, of the crude. So if I'm long the heat crack, that means I'm long the heat and I'm short the crude. So that means that I feel that heat is strong relative to the crude or crude is weak relative to the heat. It's always a relative thing. Same thing with RBOB to crude. You know, if I'm bullish to RBOB to crude, so for example, right now, I'm bullish to heat the heat, heat to crude crack. That means I think that the heat should perform better on the upside than the crude. Okay. I'm bullish to RBOB crack, so I think the RBOB should perform better than the crude. And then I just go to the R Bob heat crack. This tells me that the heat should outperform the R Bob. Here, we've got to pay a few bills, Mike. We'll be right yep. back with Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Mike Moore, More Analytics. Uh, please continue, Michael. All right. Um, I guess the only thing we didn't look at was the natural gas. So let me take it. Yes, there's always interest in that. So please let us see what you have. I think I just, uh, give me a second. I closed the wrong. Closed Mike, the you, wrong li you live in, do you live in Nashville? No, right outside of Knoxville. Knoxville. Okay, great. Yeah. Five miles from Smoky Mountains. I moved okay. out here straight from the World Financial Center. <laughs> wow. Why did you pick that area? Uh, my wife's from down here. And, uh, oh, okay. That no, makes good no sense. Kids, right. so, and the, the trading floor was really kind of going out. So it's like, well, I don't really necessarily, necessarily need to be living in the World yeah. Financial Center anymore. So, yeah, I just can't believe what we have in front of us now compared to when we was back in the pits. You know, we're sweaty, dangerous you know, out trades, all this other stuff. You didn't know what your equity was till the next day. And now you got everything, you know, right to the second. You know, it's just amazing. I remember the natural gas pick got so violent one time that the, the, there were only two female traders down there. And the, the one female trader, Cindy, she had to crawl underneath the, the ring, uh, the ring edge. Just to, she shouldn't get knocked <laughs> over by these other traders in there. <laughs> they had guys in there six foot six, six foot seven, two hundred. Oh yeah, a lot of Chicago Bear and Chicago Bulls. And when they retired, they became pit traders, especially in the Euro dollar pit and T bills. I remember, I knew some of them. Absolutely. I never went into pits. I stood on the sidelines or stayed up in the office, but it was <laughs> fun, you know. So the natural gas. Um, just coming back a little bit, we'd held exhaustion down here. Had a full bull structure, went into a bearish correction, held exhaustion down here, broke above this line, got bullish, broke above these lines, got bullish, and then just recently been bearish into this roll back into here. Um, so I think this is this may just be a pullback before heading up and uh, starting new bull structure. Or this isn't. This is possibly in the midst of a bull structure. This would be maybe the third leg up if it heads up. If we come back off, we take out this line right here, though. That's going to project that to project this to the downside. That comes in at uh, mm -hmm. 25.43. Okay. As of two o'clock p.m. And uh, just as an overall in here, we talked about this last time, but we've been in this long bearish slide, and I would note that these 
these lows are bottoming out here and turning up and we've made new highs here above this often an indication that this thing is shifting back to the upside okay you want to take a look at the S&Ps? Yes, sir. They love that with, with all the action we've had in there. Please show us what you're looking at. All right. So actually yesterday was a really good day in the analysis, particularly uh, it was just a, a great uh, technical day. We had held, excuse me, all right. We had held exhaustion up. In, oh, let me just back up over here. Right. So we've been basically, if you've been watching the show for a while, you know I've been basically bullish from 35.02. We bounced 11.32 and a half points. You can read about a bunch of the rest of these later. but And then more recently I said that um, trade above, the settlement above 45.2750 to 45.33 and a quarter increases the likelihood of a run for 48.08 plus. We'd seen 101 points. 101 and a quarter of that so far. Basically, I think this is heading up to take out the highs in general. Mm -hmm. Dropping down on a shorter term basis, we held this exhaustion level right up here at 46.35, uh, even with a 46.34 and a half um, high, which I noted here in the analysis. I caution possible medium time frame exhaustion there. We held that and rolled over 80.75. We also traded below this formation, which I said was bearish. That brought in 51 and a quarter. Then we broke below this formation, only saw uh, 29.75 before breaking back above it. So now the break back above it um, warns of renewed strength, likely to take out these highs. And I think this is just a short-term pullback. If not, and this rolls over and takes out these lows again, this could be a deeper correction. Mm -hmm. But uh, as it stands right now, um, I'm bullish in here. And do you want to we'll take a look at the gold? By the way, if anybody has any questions, just stop me. Okay. So far, we're okay. Okay. And the gold. Um, turned bullish again today. We had back up here a little bit the break above 1641.20 brought in 444.2 strength we've had a bunch of other formations in here that have also projected it upward more recently though we broke down below this formation which warned of pressure you saw the pressure we were looking for before rallying all the way back up and rolling over even to lower lows now that we've broken back above this line this warns a renewed strength probably to head up towards this upper line. Um, and if we take this line out, that's going to uh, project this upward at least 20 or 30 um, per ounce. And that line right above is going to come in at uh, 2016.80. Okay. On the hour. Right. And that moves down about 0.6 of a tick per hour. But that would be a pretty nice formation, and that would definitely project this higher. And uh, we just held exhaustion here as well and some other um, supporting areas. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we got Bitcoin. Been kind of quiet lately. Had a couple of good trades in here, though. We had completed it in upward... Uh, bullish structure. I said we were likely in the last stretch of the move up from 14,925 and be wary of areas of possible exhaustion above. And I wanted to break above 31,655 to 860 and back below would warrant pressure again. We've seen 2,845 of that. And then the trade below 30,755 projects us downward 1,200 plus. We've attained 1,945 of that. I also noted if this is a bearish correction, the minimum target is 25,710. So we still got quite a ways to go to get down there. Uh, we pulled back up to this minor formation twice and rejected off of it. If we break above that formation, um, I just lose you there. Sorry. Bear with me. 
if we break back above this formation, that's going to warrant a renewed strength, and that formation is going to come in at... Uh, 29.767. 29.767 plus one tick per hour. Mm -hmm. As of this hour, that would uh, reignite uh, bullishness to the upside. Okay. By the way, I know... Uh, me blowing through a lot of this may seem quite dry. <laughs> I am a more no, animated it's... person, but when it comes down to technicals, I'm pretty pretty straight to the point. And that uh, you do um, you do a great job, my friend. So keep it up. We'll have you on again next week, okay? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Put on, put on weekend, Wednesday right? of next week, Mike. And we'll have you on Wednesday of next week. Oh, not Wednesday, yeah. Thursday of next week. Sounds good. Okay, see you later. We'll be right back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, on an astrological uh, environment here that we're watching, we do have the full moon, excuse me, a new moon coming in at perigee. And that's uh, when the Earth is as close to, or as far away from the uh, moon as it can be. That has extra magnetic force. And also remember, folks, that uh, try to do things for your neighbors that are out there because some people are having a very, very difficult uh, time doing this. Now, we're having tremendous volatility. You'll notice that today's high 
we went back and we made a 78% retracement in the S&P 500 so far today, and it might still go higher. But remember, we're having incredible volatility, and the only way you can protect yourself for that is by using stop placement. If you're not using a stop, you're telling Mr. Market or Mrs. Market that you know more than she does, and folks, she doesn't like to hear that. And so what that means is you're probably going to get yourself into some trouble. So use something to protect yourself, whether it's a desktop. I don't like desktops because they don't fill them in the pit, and sometimes they go running through your prices that by the time you want to put the stop in, you're already in big trouble, and that's no fun to be in. So let's remind ourselves of that, folks. You've got to protect yourself. We're going to be talking about risk control, of course, on August the 2nd when we do our, our day trading thing. That there is for to make money. We're also going to be teaching during the time we put a trade on. We're going to be showing you the trades. We're going to be finding the patterns, putting on those patterns that we find and showing you why they're there, the mathematical reasoning behind it that will be verified by the, the uh, flashcards that we have for you folks. And you'll get some books that uh, are also very interesting that uh, help you in your, in your trading search because trading is a journey. It's not a destination, folks. I've been doing it for 60 years, and I love it the same as I did the first day. It's And I talk to Larry Williams quite a bit, and he's the same way. Peter Elides is the same way. It's just something that once you get to do it, it's just a heck of a lot of fun. But learning how to do it the right way, it takes a little longer sometimes. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side on Monday, folks. Bye.